Okay, we want to copy and paste text between documents. We've already created two documents here in the previous training video. We created a letter for Harry and one for Ron. Let's say we have some text in Ron's letter that we type that we also want to put in Harry's. Maybe it's a lot of text and we don't want to retype it all. It's just easier to select what's in Ron's letter and copy it over into Harry's. Well, let's go ahead and open up both of these documents here. And to do so, I'm going to right click. You can just double click on yours, but I want to open mine up with WordPad. It opens it up. I'm going to click on the restore button to bring it back down to size so I can see my desktop and I'm going to click and drag the border of it over okay so I can see Ron's letter in fact I can click and drag the header just of the open window up just a little bit then I want to right click on Ron's go down to open with and then left click on WordPad maximizes again but I'll click on the restore down button and then I'll click and drag the border here over just a bit for his document so then I can click and drag and put them side by side uh, make it easier here for me and let's say I have some interesting things in this document I want to copy over here like add some more text let's say I want this or just maybe some huge paragraph over here really simple all you have to do is go ahead and select the text you want by clicking and dragging I started up here and I clicked and dragged to select it you want to be careful about clicking and dragging for example if you're not good with the mouse and you click let's just before the letter D in dear Ron if you click and drag and you select it and you're like oh wait a second I missed that because I let go too soon I need to also select my name if you go back and you click and drag again look what's gonna happen you're gonna mess up your document to undo this I can hit my undo button here and it will undo my mistake when you click and drag if you didn't select everything click off in a blank area and try again don't try to re click and drag what's already selected because as you just saw for example if I select dear Ron I can click in the middle of it and drag his name, dear Ron, at the end of the document. So that's a major difference. Let me click undo again. So first of all, if I overdo it, then I want to click off in a blank area and click and drag, get it right to maybe just sincerity. Once I have that, there's a couple of ways I can copy this. In fact, three ways. The first and obvious way would be to actually click the copy button on the toolbar here. The second way is you can right click on the selection and left click on copy. The third way is to click on the edit menu and go down to copy and actually the fourth way is a shortcut control C. So I'm going to click off here, click off in a blank area and click and drag it again and I'm going to hit control C on my keyboard. Didn't do anything fancy, didn't say it was copying, just trust it and then come over here and click somewhere wherever you want to paste this, this text that we just copied, click in a blank area. Maybe I'll click after the end of us and hit enter a couple of times and then paste it. Now there's several ways to paste it, just as many ways as there is to copy it. So I can do edit to paste and it pastes it for me. I can also click on the paste button here, the clipboard. It pastes it again, doesn't it? And I can do control V's and Victor to paste it again. You can see how many times it keeps pasting it. So like I say, there's as many ways as to paste your text as well as to copy it. And I can hit undo a couple of times just so I have the first paste. Okay, now that you know how to copy and paste text in between documents, let's just kick it up a notch here. I always enjoy giving my students extra freebies. And let me do this. Let me go ahead and click maximize on this, okay? and this is the active window because it's indented down here let me go to Ron's letter and make it active by clicking on it and then let me maximize his window so now I have two I have Harry's when I click on his button there's Harry's then I have Ron when I click on his a shortcut key that you might find very helpful is holding down the alt key on the keyboard and hitting the tab key and letting go of the alt key and it takes me to the other open screen see how it went over to Harry's And if you're really quick you can do alt tab took me over to Ron. Alt tab took me back to Harry's. Boy that's really helpful because I can go ahead and maybe select all this right click to copy alt tab now I'm in Ron's letter click at the end hit enter and control V and Victor to paste that alt tab just is fun isn't it in fact did you see a little part of your screen pop up if you hold down the alt key and you hit the tab key once but you leave the alt key held down it will show you all the screens that are open and you see how it's highlighted around this one right here if I let go of the Alt key right now, I just have the Alt key held down after I hit the Tab key, it'll release me on Ron's letter. If I hold down the Alt key and hit the Tab key again, it takes me to the desktop. It says, this is your desktop. My Alt key is still held down. I just hit the Tab key once to toggle between the three open windows that I have. Tab, 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 Tab. Tab to the desktop. I'm going to let go of the Alt key. Here I go. Took me right to the desktop. Pretty cool, huh? Hold down the Alt key hit the tab key once to bring up the little window and then I can go ahead and tab 
to any one of these and let go of the Alt key. Now, if you're really good, the Alt tab will remember what document you're in and the most recent document. So if I Alt tab and Alt tab and Alt tab, it goes in between these two documents. They also have next to your Alt key what looks like four little boxes. It's actually Microsoft's logo you see right here. Those four little boxes, green, orange. One well, on your keyboard, it's not going to be green or orange. But if you hold that down and then you hit the tab key once, but you haven't let go of that little Windows key on your keyboard, now that's cool. It actually displays in cascading format here what you're currently in, followed by the other window, the other document, followed by your desktop. Now if you hit the tab key, watch how it scrolls, it brings forward Ron's letter which used to be here to the front. That way it gives you a view before you actually select it because maybe you have 20 windows open and you're just hitting the tab key and scrolling through all those windows that are open. Now I still have that Windows key on my keyboard held down and it's again next to your Alt key and I'm just keeping that held down and tabbing through. So once I get to the one that I'd like to, the one that's at the forefront here, Ron's letter, I can let go of the tab key and it brings up Ron's letter. So there's Alt tab and then there's Windows tab. And then, of course, finally, when you click on these buttons down below to bring up your documents, and you still have two documents, you can Alt-Tab back and forth in between to copy and paste text. If you want them side by side, again, you can click Restore and bring it down to its own size. Let me maximize that. Or when in doubt, just right-click on the taskbar and say you want them stacked or you want them side by side. If you want them stacked, it's going to be horizontally. Side by side is going to be vertically. So I do side by side. Every single window, folder, document you have open is going to be side by side here. And it may get really tiny if you have several of them open to try to make room for additional ones. So you don't want to have too many documents open. Maybe two is fine. And then you can still go ahead and click and drag in one and copy it and come over here and hit Control V as in Victor to paste. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.